Hey everybody, this is Strategy Wizard again, and today I'm going to be doing an unboxing of Starship Samurai, the Shattered Alliances expansion. Um, this is a game designed by Isaac Vega, or it's an expansion of a game designed by Isaac Vega, and published by Plaid Hat Games. Uh, this is, from what I hear, way too big of a box for what comes inside, but that's okay because uh, I, I want it, <laughs> so I guess it'll be okay. So, we have two new... Samurai mechs and more cards and let's see ages 14 plus 2 to 4 60 90 minutes just like the original I'm pretty sure that's exactly the same um, Yes, Starship Samurai is required of course um, Get ready to supercharge your battle for the Imperial Throne. Oops, sorry. I should be over here We war rages throughout the Lotus Galaxy as fresh new gambits replace well-worn strategies and honor held so dear is often won through the most devious and duplicitous of plots but while the schemers hatch their plans in secret, master engineers reveal new mech designs sure to forever alter the balance of conflict. That's what I want to see. Actually, I could have read this already, what those cards do, but I'm going to not read it. I'm going to wait until I open this and be semi-surprised. Y'all probably already read it, and you already know. I'll find out in a second. Okay, let's see. The box... Like wait, but it gets the job done. Here we are. As you can see, far too big for what comes in the box, as I heard. Now, my miniatures in the base game were all kinds of broken up. These actually look well. I mean, think they, I think there were three broken pieces, which I eventually fixed and got them where they needed to be. These appear to actually be in one piece. Wow! Look at that bad boy. That's nice. And this one. You got to fix that if I can. Although it's not that big of a deal to me. But wow, very, very nice detail, great quality stuff. Maybe put this in some hot water and maybe I'll straighten these out. But those look cool. Okay, then all we have left is the cards. And my gosh, this is one of those things where they don't want you getting in there. I don't see an easy open option, so I'm going to have to do my best uh, to get this open without causing any damage. That's what always makes me nervous with these whenever they make the plastic too tight. I just don't want to mess up the corners or anything like that of the cards. Come on. You can do it. There we go. Okay, so there's one little card here that seems to maybe be something like the instructions. <laughs> New action card deck. It says Starship Samurai Shattered Alliances includes an all-new 40-card action deck. Players may utilize this deck in one of four ways. Replace the original. Combine the deck together to have an 180 card deck. Design your own 40-card deck composed of any combination of cards or draft. Shuffle both action decks together and then deal 20 cards to each player. Each player must then select one card to place into her deck. And pa That's interesting. Okay, so you can have custom decks. Cool. We've got clan-specific action cards. Some new action cards reference a specific clan. These cards include an image of that clan's alliance marker for easy reference. Thank you very much. Cards in the expansion are marked with that little symbol in the lower right corner to help distinguish them. Yes, yes, yes. Thank you for that. I always like it whenever they make it to where I can tell the difference. Okay. Get this poor little Ziploc bag out of the way. And let's see. Let's just leave these miniatures out here just because they look cool. Oops. Even though you can't really see them that well. I apologize for that. That's better. Okay. All these. See, two cards. These must be the samurai. Let's see what they do. At least I will, in case you already read. Okay, so it's Ishida. Gain one wealth when you gain the location reward of Ishida's location. Oh my gosh, that's great. Talk about an awesome way to build your wealth quickly, especially. So you want to maintain power. That's really all it's about. You want to, wherever she is, or I, I think I take it as a she, you want to make sure that she is, that you own that location with as much power as possible so you can get wealth every turn. That is amazing. And then Hanzo, big bulky gold fellow. If you control exactly one ship at Hanzo's location, that ship cannot be destroyed. Now that's interesting. He's pretty powerful, and with this, he's able to basically guarantee a, a ship to be there. Two things I guess you could do with that. You could bring the um, the carrier, which is power two, all by itself, or even with other ships, but it will never die, which will give you a minimum of six no matter what. Or you could bring a wimpy ship and use your wealth 
to add, in fact, I guess in combination with Ishida, that would be kind of cool, she can be getting you wealth, and then you can use that to power up a lone ship that's with him to be really powerful. So that's that, that's something you could do. But, hmm, I like it. They're both really nice. And then we have action cards. Let's just look at some of these, if I can grab them, and see what some of them do. Military Parade. Gain wealth equal to the power of a samurai mech you control at any location. Return that samurai mech back to your supply. Oh, that's nice. Two of each. Okay, it's going to be like the other ones, like the original thing. Two of each uh, action card. If you control a samurai mech at this location with more damage, I mean, or battle, combat, whatever, than an enemy unit at this location, return that unit back to its supply. Hmm. That's that. It, that could be very powerful. Especially if you're using, um, gosh, what's his name? My brain is failing me. But that mech, he, I think he's the one, if I remember correctly, he's the one that is a six, and that way you're just more powerful than everyone, so you can just use it every time. Uh, I know I'm intimidated by him. Protests. Attach this car to a location. Units cannot be moved to this location. At the end of a player's turn, you may discard two action cards to so discard this card. Otherwise, discard it at the beginning of the battle phase. So you can block people from coming to your to where you are. That's nice. Uh, repurposed weaponry. A battle card. Gain one attack. Gain one attack for each unit in your graveyard. Oh, wow, that's nice. So you already get a little bit of a boost, but then you're going to lose a ship. And then in that ship plus any other ship in your graveyard give you an additional one, uh, one combat. Wow, that's cool. Could be very powerful if people have been blowing up your ships. That's a great way to make it. Someone's been blowing up your ships all that turn, and you go, oh, well, I guess you regret doing that now. That's cool. Magnetic field. All samurai mechs at this location are considered to have zero for the remainder of this battle. Whoa! Talk about a way to ruin someone's day. Noble sacrifice. You have to sacrifice three ships, but you get five attack, and you gain an honor. Interesting. Oh. I like the I like the way they try to really bring the honor. I mean, it's it's about getting points, but the fact that it's honor points and that a lot of the things that you do makes sense with the honor system. I like a lot. That's cool. An order you have to lose for honor. Whoa! So this is dishonorable action, I'm sure. Remove one location card you claim from the game. If you do, move all clan markers on the alliance track up to two spaces each. Okay, that's basically like blowing up like the Death Star blowing up a planet just to show, hey, you better be doing what we want and making people come to your side out of fear, which, yes, that's dishonorable. Again, the theme, I just like the way they do that. It's so cool. Crushed. Destroy one small enemy ship at a location where you control at least one samurai mech. Hmm. Very simple, but has no cost, so that's cool. Sabotage. Gain two attack. Destroy one ship at this location. Hmm, interesting. That's actually pretty powerful for something that has no cost. Ambassador costs a ship, but you gain the reward of one location card that you claimed, and you gain one honor. That's nice. Horizon Clan Priestess. If the Horizon Clan marker... Okay, so that, that's definitely one that has to do with... Did any, I don't think so the ones did. So that's clan, tied to a clan. If the Horizon Clan marker is on your branch of the Alliance track... Destroy up to three ships at any one location. Otherwise, move the Horizon Clan marker up to three spaces. Ooh. Nice. If the Aurora Clan marker is on your branch of the Alliance track, gain five attack. Otherwise, move the Aurora Clan marker up to three spaces. This is one thing I was really looking forward to, is that each clan is... More, the clans are more important now because they can give you awesome abilities with certain cards. So... If the Comet Clan marker is on your branch of the Alliance track, search the action deck for any one card. Place it in your hand. Shuffle the action deck and gain two wealth. Otherwise, move the Comet Clan marker for three spaces. That's huge. I like the Comet people. Let's see, this is resilient. If the Rift Clan marker is on your branch of the Alliance track, re return all units from your unit graveyard to your supply and draw two action cards. Otherwise, yes, you no. Know. That's awesome. Powerful. If the Ion Clan marker is on your branch of the Alliance track, gain five wealth. Otherwise, man, that's a great way to get rich quick. The Demon Ninja. If the Luna Clan marker is on your branch, destroy one Samurai Mech at this location. It's on your branch. 
Shut the alliance strike. Destroy one samurai mech at this location and gain one combat. Oh, it's a battle card, yeah. Oh, wow. That's huge. Oh, my gosh, that's huge. We have clone army. If the Terra Clan marker is on your branch of the Alliance Strat, gain two attack for each ship you control at this location. That's huge! If the Soul Clan marker is on your branch of the Alliance Strat, move up to five units you control. Wow, talk about mobility. Advance warp gates? Yeah, I'd, I'd say so. Hidden weapon costs three money. Double the damage of one unit at this location for the remainder of this battle. Oh my gosh. Whew, that's powerful, especially if you're using a powerful uh, samurai mech. Extortion, last one. You lose one, one honor because extortion is dishonorable. Move one clan marker on your branch of the alliance track down one space. If you do, gain five wealth. Interesting. Thematically, again, really cool. Like it. Boy, that took longer than I had expected, but I wanted—I couldn't—I got addicted to looking at all the cards. So there you go. That's what comes in this expansion, the Shattered Alliances expansion for Starship Samurai. If you enjoyed the video, if it was helpful, give me a thumbs up. I'd appreciate that. And uh, if you want to see more of these types of videos, then subscribe and leave comments down below if you have any questions or thoughts. And in the meantime, I look forward to seeing you on the next video. So take care, everybody. Bye.